serving as the design inspiration for the much later Mercury-class battle stars. The Minerva-class light battle star was a compact and adaptable vessel, deployed in limited numbers across the length of the First Cylon War. At a length of 1,318 meters, the Minerva presents a sloped and compact frame that sacrifices bulk and endurance in favor of optimal weapon placements and rapid adaptability. The ship represents an important development in the history of Battlestar construction, instigating a design lineage more focused on aggression and firepower than stability and defense. This philosophy would ultimately result in smaller, more aggressive Battlestars becoming ubiquitous in the colonial fleet, as seen in the later Valkyrie class. The Minerva carries a standing crew complement of 3,400, as well as a sizable contingent of colonial marines. The Minerva was designed for the express purpose of surgically eliminating capital-grade warships at great speed. To this end, the ship carries missile tubes and high-grade artillery cannons across the bow and dorsal frame, as well as numerous heavy and medium guns across the ventral hull and flight pods. The ship is also equipped with rapid targeting point defense cannons across her port and starboard sides, taking full advantage of the vessel's minimal armor plating to mount as many weapons hardpoints as possible. The Minerva class carries two wings of Vipers as standard, with Raptors and other support craft often loaded based on mission-specific requirements. The Battlestar's Ordnance launchers can also be reconfigured to deploy mines, as well as PCMs and EMP devices, allowing for a wide range of utility across different engagements. The Battlestar Minerva, first of the class, was constructed at a secondary orbital shipyard over Scorpia and rushed into deployment to defend the station when it fell under Cylon attack. The Battlestar's thin armor proved insufficient to absorb fire meant for the facility, and as a result, the shipyard was quickly destroyed. But in an act of dramatic retaliation, the Minerva closed on the enemy as they reloaded, using the flaming wreckage of its home station as a shield, before releasing a rapid series of volleys that quickly reduced the three Cylon Arachnes to similar wreckage. This engagement would set the standard for Minerva deployments from then on, cementing the ship as a tool for fast and decisive attacks, whose value is wasted when deployed defensively. Though not as famous as the Jupiter or Artemis class battle stars, the Minerva's contributions to the First Cylon War were far from insignificant, providing the colonial fleet with a reliable means of engaging the largest and most fearsome Cylon warships.